Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can cut out your instrument holes for your flight simulator. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. Your instrument hole can have four parts. The area carved behind it, the hole itself, the four screws, and sometimes an area cut out for the knob. First we're going to carve behind the panel to make it flush with the the panel. To set the router I found out the thickness of my panel which is 18.4 and then you can subtract 18.4 subtract it by the thickness of the gauge so it's about 8 millimeters so 18.4 minus 8 is 10.4 so once we find that about 10.4, 10.5. We can set our depth on the router. Conveniently, one small instrument is about 10.5. So you can just use this to set it. So now you can put this piece in and verify that it fits, and it does, so we are all good. Next we're going to carve the instrument hole. For the router, I'm using a 7.5 millimeter bit, and I'm going to set the part that cuts, so not the bearing, to 18 millimeters, or roughly that. So yeah. Set it to your panel thickness and then give it a millimeter or two. Add the link to the router guide I made in the description below. And then you basically hot glue it onto the here, then put the router around it, then take the hot glue off, then re hot glue it here, router, hot glue off, and do the same here. You don't need a ton of hot glue right here. You can let it cool for a few seconds and then get the router. Now we can carve out the knob. For the bigger holes with knobs I just put the bezel into the hole and it fits mostly except for the place that I'm going to trace. So then you just trace the knob and then you can come at it with a 14 millimeter router bit. And you want to be super careful and make sure that it's straight on, but this should be good. Now we're going to cut out the screw holes. To cut the screw holes, you put your bezel in and make sure it's about perpendicular to the center line of the panel, so parallel to the bottom. Then with a pen, you can trace the dots right here. The dots you trace are where you drill. Now I can paint the screws. I have some 2x4 scraps right here, and you can just put a piece of pegboard with the holes in it, and then put the screws in and paint over them. Oh, that's cool. Now we can put the bezel in. When mounting a bezel, you can put the bezel into the hole. Get one screw and screw it in completely. Then do the same with the other two. 
If you're interested in finishing the instruments, you can click the playlist right here, and that'll send you to there. But regardless, you should like, subscribe, and ring the bell, because I make all sorts of flight simulator videos. Thank you for watching, and have a fantabulous day.